Hello and welcome back to this video. Uh, I'll be talking about how to automate CAD work uh, using ChatGPT. As technology continues to advance, artificial intelligence is becoming an increasingly popular tool for automating tedious and time-consuming cons tasks like AutoCAD or working with CAD. Throughout this video, I'll be providing some examples how artificial intelligence can be used uh, to automate um, some of these works. Our first example is to demonstrate how to automate closing a polygon gaps. Very common. I've asked the chat GPT to first uh, start with the p-edit command and then step by step added more complexity. For example, I've asked it to populate some of the options like the fuzz distance and uh, multiple selection. Um, and actually by following this strategy, I kind of started to learn how the code works, how it's constructed and to do modifications by myself. Um, just after that, I call the Lisp function name, select the lines, and it will automatically convert uh, it to a closed polyline. Cool. So then you can hatch it, obviously. Um, for people who deal with hatches in AutoCAD uh, would understand that struggle. Uh, they will be like saying, yes, finally, um, one CAD struggle becomes uh, less tedious. Um, in the second example, uh, it explains a sequence of polyline, then offset, then array uh, commands. I started with simple question like generate AutoCAD Lisp to draw a polyline. Uh, then step by step, uh, I started to add uh, more complexity um, uh, to it. Um, so I've added the uh, beeline uh, command, then the offset, then the array, uh, similar to the example before. But the idea here is whenever you have a task in CAD that needs like a chain of commands, uh, like a process with ordered steps, then consider automating that using AI or ChatGPT. Um, and after I got the final code that meets my uh, purpose uh, or what I wanted to, to do, I've inserted that in AutoCAD using the instruction that ChatGPT gave me. The function name was POA, uh, P-O-A, um, it starts with the polyline and then once it's finished, it triggers the offset command. You do offset uh, as needed, then the array command and it asks you for the type of it or the uh, row, number of row, uh, number of columns, and then automatically it will create uh, them for you. The last example is circle hatch, which from the name will create like a circle first and then trigger the hatch. Uh, command immediately afterward. Um, I've used this in one of my tasks which requires circles with different diameters each time. Um, so yeah, that kind of uh, task. By showcasing these examples, I hope uh, to provide you with a better understanding of how AI can revolutionize your CAD uh, workflow. Um, and you can use it as much as you like um, and finally uh, if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this uh, by subscribing you will be notified whenever um, i upload a new video uh, and you will be supporting me in my mission to make a good use of technology for professionals like you thank you for your support and thank you for watching see you in the next video